All right. Once you've dug things up a little bit, you kind of want to choose a spot for stuff to go. We've got uh, two different types of bulbs here. And uh, they're, both, they're, they're just a variety of different ones. So I'm going to kind of place them out all over the place, make it look kind of random. Because uh, Lord knows, nothing in nature is not random. So uh, I've got a bunch of these little things here. Kind of place them all over the place, actually. I want this one right here. This one's actually a, uh, it's a lilac? No. Lily. It's a lily, I think. Lord knows, I can't remember anymore. But, um, yeah, you kind of want to make it look a little random. So kind of place them all over the place. Doesn't really matter. Use those guys as an example. Alright, next thing you do is after you've broken up your stuff, you might have to dig it a little deeper here. You can use your hands too if you like. Though depending on if you're into creepy crawlers or not, because you will find things like worms and a lot of soil. I was finding them like crazy in my front yard. This stuff must not be as healthy. Obviously there's nothing grown here, so Lord knows that this stuff may not even grow. And all you do is there's two different parts to it. There's the bottom, there's the top. This one doesn't look too good. Um, you can always tell the bottom, because actually you think it would go in like that, right? It actually goes in upside down. This is the part where the plant comes out. Also, you can use this. this is a better bulb to use, as an example. The roots are on the bottom, obviously. You can see there's little roots there. And the plant's on the top. So basically, once you know which is it, which which is which, just gently place it right into the soil, just like that. You want the roots to be down because they grow down, and you want the top to be straight up because plants obviously grow straight up. I want to plant three in there. I'll just plant two in that one. So once you've done that, you're done. Cover it up. <laughs> Bulbs are actually really easy, and they grow from year to year. You're all done. You just move on to the next spot. <laughs> Same basic idea. Get in there. Really well. Take the plant. Bottom part. There's no roots on this one, but it'll still grow. Sometimes you can do two to an area. I've been doing two to an area. Um, three to an area looks pretty good too. Four. Depending on the type of bulbs and how many you have of them. Really, when it comes down to it, that's all it is. This is actually from last year. It's um, one of those uh, peat pellets I've been using. And uh, they break down over time. Um, it does take a little while though. You can see the roots actually grow up the sides of them, not the bottoms. Um, so the plant can actually grow but it's all for the most part just you know, normal soil in there. It's pretty cool. You also want to be planting to uh, the depth that is shown on the... Uh, when you buy your, your bulbs, they usually come in a package. On the back cover, I'll have a uh, planting depth, how far they should go down. If you don't plant them to uh, the depth they're supposed to be, they could be too high. If they're too high, they'll fall right over. If they're too low, they may not... Uh, grow up high enough to reach the light and uh, die on their own. So you got to make sure they're within a boundary that is suitable for it. Also what's good for bulbs is when you're digging, dig a little bit further down, break up the soil a little bit. That way when the roots grow down, it won't be so hard on them. Now I may not be the smartest guy about this sort of job, but uh, it's pretty cool. Everything I've done is all by trial and error, so what I'm telling you is kind of stuff I've learned over time for the past like year and a half or so. And uh, I've been dealing with a lot of plants. I grew a lot of plants last year and a lot of them died, believe me. I killed a lot. But um, everything dies. So you can't get too attached, but it's nice. Once it's all said and done, everything grows. It's really awesome. You have this really good self, like feeling of uh, self-accomplishment. So it's pretty sweet. Don't be lazy about it. Really get into it. It can be very nice in the end, when uh, all is said and done. Looking for a cool shot here. It's not really working now, is it? Yeah. It could be very fun. It could also be a really good learning experience. 
it's very peaceful too. It clears your mind. When you're like really focused on something, it clears your mind. When it's not like work, when it's like something you like as opposed to like work, and it's fun. Yeah. Dirty knees. Dirty, dirty knees. <sighs> See you guys.